Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have a little um, little bit of an unboxing. This one's a little different than usual because um, the two pens I'm about to take a look at were sent to me courtesy of White Mountain Knives, and um, Justin over there was also kind enough to provide a discount code. So there's a discount code in, down in the description. It's JT10 for Jake's Take. You can go down there and use that coupon code to get 10% off anything at the White Mountain Knives store. Um, so please feel free to use that. That'll help me out a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the pins. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one first. Okay. So this one is from Artisan Cutlery. Now, I haven't looked at any of their products before, but they have been up and coming in the knife scene quite a bit. They've had um, a bunch of fairly successful um budget-ish models, and they also do some higher-end stuff. I'm going to take a look at any of their knives, and this will be my first look at any of their pens, but um, presentation is overall pretty good. Seems like a um, bit of an aluminum kind of uh, patterned uh, case. Okay, so we have a nice foam insert, and here's the pen here. So this is a little different than the pens I normally take a look at. Um, this one is a I believe it's a ballpoint pen, but you can always use a rollerball cartridge if you really, really wanted to. And it also has a glass breaker on the end. Um, I don't typically break glass very much, but if you have use for that, this definitely seems like it would do the job. Unlike some of the cheaper stuff, um, this appears to be actually made of uh, something that can cut glass and will actually help you break it a little bit easier. I'll do some more research into that for the full review, but that's what it appears to be, and it is, yeah, it's fairly sharp as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this pen is titanium, um, and I believe these run around $80. Very, very nice clip here. Um, it does say artisan cutlery, very small branding, and it also has a very tiny little logo up there, which is, I like that quite a bit. Um, first assumptions, I would say this is just raw titanium that's been uh, DLC coated and then stonewashed, because all of the edges and stuff, you can kind of see the raw titanium through. It gives a very, very nice finish. Um, Let's take a look. Let's see what this pin does unscrew. It has a little O-ring there. Um, so let me see. Yeah, you can definitely feel that when you're closing and opening it. It gives just gives that little bit of extra oomph to kind of the, it feels like it's sealing up a little bit. So yeah, this pin feels pretty good in the hand. Um, it's a little heavy towards the middle here, which you can see it appears to be but it, it feels hefty, honestly. Very nice detail on this. A lot of ridging on the section and kind of a bands here with a little bit of uh, scalloping, which is interesting. Let me go ahead and post this and see. Hmm, that's actually not bad. Um, I'm curious to know how it writes if I keep a low angle, but if I keep a low angle like this, it feels very, very good in the hand. Um, normally when I write with ballpoints, it's something more like this, but I'm going to try to do a bit more relaxed grip and um, try that. Let me go ahead and get a uh, some scrap paper here. I got this from a review I just recorded. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So in that grip, it writes very well, and this is a, an amazing refill. Um, I'll pop it out in just a second and see what it is, but... That's pretty good. Okay, let me try a bit more of a relaxed, a uh, little bit of a lower, lower angle grip. That's actually nice as well. Hmm. So this pen feels very, very ergonomic in the hand. Um, okay, so it's a Schmidt P900 uh, medium refill. Let's go and take a look here. For some reason, there's an O-ring up here. I'm guessing it's just to hold in the spring. At least that's what it looks like to me, but this just looks like a standard uh, Schmidt refill, so you should be able to swap this out if you really, really want to. But i got to be honest, this is probably one of the best refills I've ever used. Um, that's, that's very, very pleasant to write with. Very smooth, a nice, consistent size. And um, I'm really kind of blown away by the refill. It's probably my favorite part of this pen so far. It does feel very, very um, sturdy. It is a little bit heavy, as you would expect a titanium pen to be. 
but it's it's very nice. They did a lot of attention to detail here. There's a lot of um, intricacy in this. And you can kind of also see the uh, refill through the middle section there, which is interesting. Yeah, a lot of little detail in this. This is, this is nice. Um, I am curious about the clip. I'm going to try to carry this and see how that clip does. It looks fairly thin and narrow, though. Also, there is a uh, Artisan Cutlery logo up here up top. A lot of the windows and things in this. This is a very interesting design they, that they chose to do for this one. I'm definitely going to carry that around and see, see how it performs. Okay, next up, this pin in here. Just to give you a, a quick announcement, this pin will be available for giveaway. So when I do the review of this pin, there will be a giveaway associated with it. Um, the packaging is very unique. It's like a felt almost with plastic ridges. Interesting kind of clams, clamshell style. I'm wondering if it's narrow end up or wide end up. I'll try to open it. Okay, some more felt inside. Kind of a. Okay. Hmm. So, this is a little note from Garrett Finney of FinneyKnives.com. Um, I've actually heard of these people. Um, they had a table at the Atlanta Pin Show. I briefly looked at their stuff, it was a little too. Um, high end for me to consider, um, at least ballpoint wise, but they looked very nice. So now I had seen a picture of this pen, so I knew what to expect. Um, and I'd seen a picture of that one as well, but it, it looks more intricate in person. Um, so I kind of knew what to expect with this one. This is a uh, Finney Knives pen, and um, this one is available for giveaway when I do the review. So you'll have to watch the review to see how to enter for this one. And it's not really my aesthetic, but I, I'm not going to lie, this thing is gorgeous. It's a little bit smaller than the Artisan Cutlery pen. Not by much, though. It certainly looks smaller, but it's, um... The detail in this is crazy. There's a lot of little cogs and gears and other... Uh, Looks like watch bits crushed up in here. It seems like they lacquer over it. I'm not sure about the exact process. I'll do some more research into that as well. Very nice simple clip there. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay. So you twist the back to open it up. This feels honestly a little back heavy but not too bad you can see it balances almost there in the middle this feels pretty good in the hand too hmm. let me go ahead and let's open there we go okay yeah so this opens like my baron fig uh squire okay so this uses the exact same type of refill as the uh, artisan cutlery does these also look quite a bit like the refills that the Retro 51 and um, Baron Fig Squire use as well. Try to get that line back up there. Hmm. Seems to be getting stuck on the on the spring, maybe. There we go. Okay. That was my bad. <laughs> So very, very good selection of refills on these. Let me test this one out and see how it writes real quick. Get back out my trusty rodeo pad here. Let's see. Okay, so in that kind of ballpoint grip that I mentioned, it, it writes pretty well. Let me try the more fountain penny grip. Okay. Hmm. 
So at first it wasn't great on the start, but after I got riding with it, it, it feels pretty consistent. Um, I like the Artisan Cutlery refill better, but that could certainly be swapped over. Hmm. I'm pretty impressed with these. Um, I'll prob probably be doing a review of the Artisan Cutlery one first, and then do the uh, review and giveaway of this. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed with both of these so far. So if you are interested in these at all, please take a look at the description of this video again. Thank you to Justin at White Mountain Knives. He provided a discount code for all of you. So you can get 10% off anything you want on the store. That includes the uh, new Civivi knives that are out. You can pick up these pens. Um, you can knock off literally like uh, seven, eight bucks off this thing, which is fantastic. I think it's closer to 73 than 80. So you can get this cheaper um, than anywhere else, I believe. I believe Blade HQ has it running for 80. So definitely take a look if you're interested in this one and check out the full review of both of these. But I'll leave that discount code down there. Thanks again, Justin. And keep an eye out for the review of both of these and the giveaway of that Finney pen. Thanks, guys. Bye.